All right, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Today, what we're going to try to do is a uh, what a blind uh, taste testing. Yeah. So some bourbon. Yeah. So we were sitting around earlier this week trying to come up with what we're going to do, and we were like, "Look, let's let's see if uh, we can kind of categorize bourbons based off their prices." So, going to run to the store, maybe grab a few bottles, grab a few bottles off the shelf. Uh, and we've got a kind of like a framework of what we're going to use from a price standpoint and then uh, kind of see if we can categorize it without knowing what it is. Yeah, so like like you said, like a blind taste and yeah. we're going to have someone set it up and see if we can take a sip and say we think it, this, this could be cost. in this price range. Yeah, yeah, so stay tuned. We're going to go shopping, see what we can find. Well, we actually have someone else with us that's going to do the shopping for us. That way we don't even know what we're tasting. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it may be something that we've never heard of, or it may be something that uh, we've, we've had in the past. So it ought to be interesting for sure, because uh, we drink a decent amount of bourbon, but sometimes it's hard to tell what you're going to get and whether it's going to be good or not. Uh, we've had some that are pretty expensive that are pretty garbage. So uh, we'll see. Oh, yeah. It'll be fun. See if we can even do it. Who knows? So, y'all stay tuned. We'll go along for the ride and see what happens. So we're about to pull up at our spot. Don't have to blur a lot out because this is like the local watering hole. Can't have people knowing where this is at. Y'all be driving across the country just to come here. So, <laughs> but we're gonna see if we can't get some stuff, some of that brown liquid gold, and then we're gonna go back to the house and blindfold ourselves and pour it. <laughs> we know what Chad's into. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, blindfolds. But anyways. I'll see if we can't get a shot of the parking lot or something. All right, so there goes Josh's wife. She's gonna go in the store. We gave her some money. And she's gonna buy some bourbon and hopefully she comes back with something we could identify. Hopefully she comes back with something good. You know, honestly, I hope she comes back with something like that we've heard of at least. Yeah, and yeah, because I mean, if she doesn't, it's going to be kind of hard to identify what it is, right? It's going to be hard to say, hey, this is a 30 or, you know. Well, not only that, but no one will know no it on will, a video. Yeah, no one will ever know it. Yeah. So, we'll see. Well, the good thing is we're at a spot that we frequent. So we said, hey, go talk to 
our boy and tell him hey what we're doing and and hopefully he can uh point her in the right direction yeah hopefully so I'm gonna, I'm gonna start taking some uh some bets i i you want to call it now i'm telling you what she's gonna come back with i'm gonna say uh four roses maybe a some type of a jefferson's I hope it's a little bit better than that because uh, I've had the higher end Four Roses and eh, I like the regular bottle of Four Roses. But uh, but I don't know if we've disclosed this information yet, but we've, we've got four categories right. of what did we say? Price range. Price ranges. So we'll go over all that later on when we get it all laid out and everything. But four different bourbons in four different price ranges. So... We'll see what she comes back with. What are you going to do if she comes back with like a, a Pappy's and she's like, hey, that was at the top of the price range or the top of the test? I mean, if she comes back with a Pappy in that price range, I don't know what, what I'm saying. I, I mean, don't know what she did in there. <laughs> <laughs> but she hit a home run. Yeah. Yeah. I know him. Damn. Uh, but yeah, hopefully it'll be something good. Luckily, we're at a spot we both frequent, so... Um, at least uh, our plug in the store will be able to to point her in the right direction. And yeah. she kind of knows what roughly both of us like from hearing conversations. So, yeah, so hopefully she doesn't come back with any, anything so obscure that we wouldn't even be able to come close to saying this is worth a crap. Other than us just saying, hey, I like this. I, I, this is what I would pay for it. But we'll see. For all I know, she's... But that's that's my prediction. Do you have a prediction on what she'll come back with? I'm hoping maybe like a Blanton's or an Eagle Rare. Of course, I don't know what price range she's at, right? So uh, she looked at some of our collection earlier and we told her the price ranges and she made a list based off of what she knew and uh, what kind of maybe she can go in there and find and she'll make up the difference uh, in what we have versus what's in the store. So, yeah. I don't know if she's going to get a super cheap bottle in there and one expensive or you know two of the middle bottles. So Good point. Yeah. It, there, there's no telling to be honest with you. No, there's not. <laughs> There it is. All right. Like Luda says, what's in the bag? What you got in that bag? I got the stuff. Did you? So what do you think? Good, bad? Hopefully good? Maybe good. Okay. Awesome. All right. So... As we know, we're fixing to do this blind taste test. We've had all this set up for us. We're about to see if we can find out the quality. I mean, what what probably the price quality. range is going to fall into? Yeah, I would I would be in those quality quality by price, right? right? Yeah. But I mean, you like what you like, so yeah. And let's let's we'll, we'll see if we match. Yeah. So we've got zero to thirty dollars, thirty to sixty. 60 to 90 and of course 90 to 120 dollars so we're going to see if we can tell the difference between a cheap one and an expensive one and we're just going to take a sip and see if we can tell and we'll rate it move it set it all up for y'all to see too so we're going to start with a start with a yeah that's a good good as point as any i guess Kind of smells caramel. I was just going to say a big thing of caramel, vanilla, or, or vanilla. Oh, yeah, I, I can't make that. Yeah. Up. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> so it's not real hot. On my tongue, we're in the, in the back of my throat either. Uh-uh. Well, it's starting to kick on now a little bit. I feel it back in the back of my throat. Yeah, I agree. 
but it's not that caramel or nope. vanilla taste. It's it's uh, uh, almost a uh, it's almost a little acetone. Acetone, yeah, a little bit. I That's don't it. Know what it is? That's it. Almost like a fingernail polish taste. Mm -hmm. But it's it's, it's not, burning so much. Yeah, but it's the not, back end. That's right. But it's not uh, crazy hot, and it's not overpowering acetone taste. Uh, I agree. Just kind of a light. Uh, a light taste. Okay. It's not bad. I'm going to go ahead and just... I'm not going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and move. Okay. I mean, I can move them all until yeah. I'm done, but just right now in my mind. I would somewhat agree with that. If not, maybe the, the 0 to 30, maybe. We'll see. Hope, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully it's up from here. And apparently we have the same thing. Like my B is the same as your B. Oh, yeah, it has to be. See, I don't get very much uh, odor off of this one. A little mm -hmm. oak, maybe? I mean, I get that the whole barrel smell. So. Oh, shoot. I got this. I can call it right now. You sure? No. <laughs> this one has a very similar taste to the other one, but much more mild. Much more. Smooth. Yeah, very clean. smooth. Yep. Yeah. Not bad. I would okay. probably go the 60 or 90 on that one. Probably. Okay. Right. You can get that taste out of my mouth. That's one thing we need is some kind of palate cleanser. Yeah. Mm. What a professional is used for palate cleanser? Oh, maybe water with lemon in it? I don't know. Oh. If y'all know, let us know. Yeah, but I don't. Mm. Are you moving down the line already? See? <clears throat> So can you tell anything other than this glass? This like, one from the colors. Me, I mean, this one's kind of looks like Miller Lite. It is a lot <laughs> like so. <laughs> this one to me almost tastes like a maybe like the a Pritchard water. No, like a Pritchard Hill or something aged in a different cask. Oh, yeah, that's not a, something aged in a different cask. Maybe a rum cask or that's my jam too. Those old sherry tabs. Mm -hmm. It's definitely aged different. There's no doubt about it. Oh yeah, that's 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 nice. I don't know if I was. Oh, uh, it's it's different. Something about that was different. And I don't know if it's because we've. Oh, oh, oh yeah, that is not good. That's not bourbon. I I think it. I think it may be the uh, new Pritcher Hill. No way. The is Jefferson's not not the older ones. They they came out with a new one this year. Yeah. I, I still oh there's there's that is some, terrible. Whatever that whatever C is, I'm gonna be <laughs> mad if it's like, oh that's your favorite one ever. It's not, but mm -hmm. I could not drink that. It's aged differently than the rest of them. That's noble. How much was Noble on fixing put that card there? <laughs> 60, 70, somewhere right around there. But I don't know that that's Noble. Noble was, I'm, I'm saying it, Noble was better than that. Uh, maybe, yeah. Uh, oh, man. It's got a sweet taste to it, though, afterwards. Like, I that still is, taste that. Oh, mouth. yeah, that is... I can't believe that's in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. That, that is terrible. That is terrible. What are you going to do if that's a 90 to $120 range? You know, not to buy it. I mean, that's what I know. I know I don't need to be drinking it. 
And it wouldn't surprise me. We've had some that are 90 to 120 that are not good. I like that one. It doesn't have viscosity. Man, uh, that huge viscosity. That's really good, whatever that is. Yeah. Doesn't have a real thick viscosity like a, a Buffalo Trace, but it's got a good finish to it. Real good. That's huh? tough. I, all, other than I know this one is about $2. I don't yep. think you're wrong. So I'm going, let's see. That's that. So are you, you doing it based off of which one you like best? Or are you doing it based off of, I think this is what it costs? I think what it costs. Okay. Because in my mind, I think you, you, the cost will equate quality. Most of the time. Most of the time. Yeah. Most of the time. What are you doing? I'm doing it based off of what I think it is. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, based off of price. Well, hold on now. I'm, I'm conflicted. This was probably the best tasting to me. Uh, these two were pretty good. This one, this one was a little bit more mild than that one. Yeah, I still pretty, feel pretty strong about that. These two is, it has got me. Good excuse to keep drinking. <laughs> My man. <laughs> After today? So this is as good as this is. I, I'm gonna go out and say this is a much higher proof than whatever this is. Oh, there's no doubt. Yeah. So w what does proof equate to in the dollar world? Nothing. Yeah, nothing. It just depends on no help. Yeah, no. Higher proof doesn't necessarily mean it's better. So you're and, I, and I know this isn't right, but I, I can't. So we're pretty close so far. I mean, I've got mine set up. I'm probably going to have to swap with you. I mean, they're just, are you going off taste or what you think it actually is? No, costs? because I think this is the best one. I by far think this is the best one. I want to say this one's a Pritchard Hill, the new Pritchard Hill, not the old one. Because I remember drinking a new one. I'm going that's what I'm going with. Okay. I'm doing it. Awesome. So right. let's, let's find out what it is. All right, what we got today? A is Penelope Architect. How much? It is a $60 bottle. So. Okay, we're in the 30 to 60. Okay. So, right. Mm -hmm. Got that right. B. Neither one of you got to be right. Okay. B is a zero to $30 bottle. What? It is Elijah Craig small batch coming in at 32, a little over at 32. I'm, I like Elijah Craig. Okay. Not mad at that. Yeah. We said we both liked yeah. it. Yeah. It well, was like very it. good. Was a pretty good toss up between mm -hmm. uh, B and D. So that one is the one that was 120, wasn't it? I have really bad news for y'all. This one was a 120? It is C for 120. It's a $115 bottle. Amador, let me get you the bottle. That oh. is disgusting. I told you. And I own a bottle. Do you? Well, it just got donated to you. It did. You can have it. I told you it sounds like it tastes like the new Pritchard. Well, I know what you said. I was here. <laughs> oh, do I have that bottle? No, you do not. I bought it today. Mm. So there's two Amadors. And I don't know if this is the Chardonnay, I told you. No, we were finishing a wine bottle. Yep. So I specifically yeah. picked that because it was finishing a wine thing. It's got a unique case. I mean taste to it. Yeah, that is uh I hate that. So what's the last one? The last one is Widow Jane Ten Year coming in at about eighty dollars. Okay. At eighty? Mm-hmm. So I did all of these off of the same website price range so okay what website so we can reference it? drizzly oh yeah we bought from drizzly before 
So how would you rank them not now knowing the price? So by far, that was my favorite. And these two were a close second and third for me. I agree. Uh, I, I think D and B were my toss-up. That was the ones I was going in between. Mm -hmm. But now knowing what I know, I still think. Oh, D is by far my favorite. D, D was really good. Mm -hmm. and, and here's why I think that, too, is because we just had the other three. So kind of taste buds might have been askew a little bit. Uh, to me, that had Maybe. more of an oaky taste. That's mm -hmm. what I like out of a bourbon is that oak and kind of charred, a lot of smoky. Smoky. Yep. Uh, yep. Great minds. <laughs> tell you. But so yes, yeah. I, I agree. I, I, I think. And I've had Widow Jane, I want to say they make a 12 or 13 year. And I've had that before in the past. And it is really good. I, I own a bottle of 10 year. Mm -hmm. But I haven't ever opened. Just because I've been on the lookout for Another the 12 or 13. Yeah. I don't remember what it was. And I've never found it again. But now that I know this, I'm definitely gonna get another bottle. Done. Yep. Opening it, drinking it. Uh. Oh yeah, it's it's gonna be in my daily drinking. Yeah. Not daily, but you know what I mean. Yeah, not daily because it's a $60, yeah, sixty nine ninety dollars. Yeah. yeah. What do you think about Penelope? Because they make a lot of different Penelopes. So this one is called the Architect. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, you rated it pretty high. Yeah, so to, I'd say second. It was second. It, so, to me, it wasn't as smoky as it would have been, but still a really good taste. Didn't have that burn. A little bit of that. A little. A little bit of that acetone right. taste, but not bad at all. That's the one they only do once a year. Okay. Mm -hmm. But yeah, definitely overall good. I would drink it again for sure. I may put. Uh, a nice cube in it to kind of open it up a little bit. That would help out a lot. Mm -hmm. What I think about this mm -hmm. is this is something if we were taking a road trip somewhere, I'd throw this in the truck or in my luggage where I wouldn't care if something happened to it along the way. If I broke it or couldn't find any decent bourbon wherever mm -hmm. I'm going to or traveling to and vacationing to, I'd bust this open. If I didn't drink it all, on the trip and left it in the hotel room or something, I wouldn't be mad about it. Yeah. So they give some interesting stuff about it on the back, which is kind of cool. Fruit, oak perception, vanilla, spicy, toasted. And all of that, I believe, is pretty accurate. That's about what we said. Didn't we say a little vanilla? Mm -hmm. I didn't get a lot on fruit on the nose, though. Did you? I didn't either. I didn't. Either. But, and I don't know if it's, you know, how far. It, it's not ranking very high. So you mm -hmm. see it's kind of flat there. So pretty cool that they do this on the bottle. I wish more bottles would do that because you yeah. could probably pick out what you like mm -hmm. on that. So that's pretty cool uh, little thing there that they do. So all in all, I mean, we were pretty close. So I, I think this is a good lesson of don't let Price. dollar amount yeah. influence you at the store because it did on this bottle. Absolutely. I'll be the first to say, I, like I said, I own this bottle. And then this may be my bottle. I don't know. Maybe yours. Uh, and, and that's what happened. I saw it there. I think it was a little over $100 back when I found mm -hmm. it. $90, $100. In my mind, I was like, that's got to be good. And, and they only did 10 barrels of this. Yeah. They wasted their time. Definitely a unique taste. I knew immediately it was it was aged in some kind of wine, uh, based off the taste. But it, the the new Pritchard Hill, and I told Shana when we got it the other day, what it's not as good as the old Pritchard Hill. Mm -hmm. uh, and the old one with the red label. That's right. Now they came out with a red and white label. That's right. I tried that what like a month ago, and I was like, this isn't like the old Pritchard Hill. So. Uh, they definitely changed it a little bit, and that kind of reminded me of it. And I, I was pretty close to being, that was Jefferson's. 
You, you, well, yeah, you kind of did. Yeah, I, I pretty mean, much. You were sold on it. I was pretty much like, this is the new Jefferson. Not the old one. Speaking of Widow Jane, so they have a decadence bottle. Have you have, had that? I have not even seen okay. it. Okay. Is it good? I haven't opened it. You got it? I do. What is it? What? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> What's the price range? I don't remember. I've had it for six plus months, maybe. Okay. So I, I could tell you. Get it around here? Yes, I did. Okay. Found it. Got it. If any of y'all have had it, is it worth me opening it or not? Let me know down in the comments. Is it worth the money? All right. Well, there you go. Yeah, don't let price influence you when you go shopping for different bourbons that you've never had. You can be disappointed. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to go get some uh, more of that Widow Jane. Yeah, because we're going to drink the rest of this tonight. Two oh, nights. Yeah. That's right. So there you go. Uh, hope that's a good lesson. Yeah. Well, we've never done anything like this, so it's a good lesson for me. For sure. Yeah, let us know if you want us to do it again. Uh, we like drinking bourbon. And <laughs> <laughs> Love it. I mean, it's an expensive way to test stuff. but It's an expensive way to test stuff, but maybe you'll find something that you like based off of what we say. Maybe. So y'all be sure to hit that like and subscribe button.